Well, hello everyone, Smyrna Cowboy here. How y'all doing today? What is today? Today is the 9th, September 9th, 2022 at 3 p.m. in the afternoon. Oops, I forgot to pull my brake off. That's what happens when you don't put your brake on. The yard fellas just got through cutting our yard, as you can see. This is gonna be a fairly short video Got a lot of clouds, rain clouds in the sky. Doesn't that yard look pretty? So I just wanted to do a video here, a 1,000 mile review. And that is a little bit tainted just because um, when I was able to ride last year from July to October, before they uh, had to pull all the hardware out and reinstall it and had the uh, saddle PE and all that good medical stuff. I want to scoot you up here a little bit, a little bit better of an angle. There, that's better, I think. So... I really can't give you a, uh, of course I can give you an honest review of what I've written it, but I can't give you a, uh, uh, you know, altogether review. But I can do my best and uh, see what happens there. Well, a thousand miles. And I say all of that is mine except for maybe, I don't know, 25 miles, maybe 20, 25 miles. The things I love about the spider. Well, I, let's see if I can get through here. Yeah, I get through there. I love the stability. I love the sure planted, foot planted, planted, plant. <laughs> I love that I don't have to worry about groove pavement or grass holes or, uh, or rocks, gravel, loose dirt, grass. I don't have to worry about that anymore. Still got to be cautious of gravel because the gravel and that uh, drive belt are mortal enemies. They don't like each other. So I have to be careful with that. It's got plenty of storage, even for me. And you can do so much more stuff on it as far as uh, accessories. And, of course, I got a whole big... Uh, I got a whole big Excel worksheet for that, for all that stuff. But that'll be a little bit at a time until all this stuff is said and done about my, about the burn. And you can put a lot of accessories and stuff on it and everything and you can make it your own basically is what you're doing. It's making it your own. And that's exactly what I intend to do. Besides that, it, it rides great. I'd have seen me a dog going around that way. I may have to put it in warp speed to get out of here. Nope, he didn't see me. And you don't have to put your feet down at stop signs. You don't have to worry about leaning or uh, gravel runoffs or anything like that. You know, a lot of people think, well, you're not riding a motorcycle, you're riding a snowmobile. Well, the cool, is, cool thing is when you get older and wiser and retired and, and all that good stuff, 
of what people think doesn't matter. <laughs> you don't care. You're the one making the payments on it or not, whatever. It's your bike. Like my mom always said, let them eat cornbread if they don't like it. I haven't gone on any grass holes. Look at that. Look at that. You know, when I was cutting my own grass, I would, I'll show you what I do when I get by the house. There's no excuse for that. None. No excuse whatsoever. So when I cut my own grass, this first strip here would be pointing towards the yard. The first couple of strips would be pointing towards the yard. And then you could start blowing it out from from that way if you wanted to. I like to cut in and then recut to mulch it. Makes the yard look better. But that's just me, but I just don't I just don't get it why they have to blow it out in the street. I guess they I, you know, I was the same way too at one time, but I, I never did do that, even though before I owned a motorcycle, I didn't do that because I just liked the way that the yard looked when you cut, keep cutting on the inside. I just liked the way it looked. So, all right, now the things I don't like about it, about the spider. My number one gripe and complaint, and it's part of the beast, is when you first start it up and you put it in first gear. It feels like the daggum transmission is going to come straight off the bike. You know, I've driven, ridden motorcycles that, you know, had a manual transmission. And you go one down and it would go into gear and stuff, but it's nothing, absolutely nothing like the Spider is. You put it in first gear and just big giant clunk. Yeah, and that just, ooh, that irks me. Irks me to no end. Uh, another thing I don't like is uh, the maintenance cost. I think I told you in the last video that uh, when I took it down to uh, American Motorsports, this is not just them, this is all Ken M dealers. I think that's about ready to come out come out again. I may have to button that camera up. Vibrations on it's doing that. Sorry, squirrel. <laughs> Stop here for a second. See how loose it is. No, it's just just shaking. Okay, uh, the maintenance costs on here. Of course, when I bought the bike, I got a pit pass. The American Motorsports offered that, and I believe it was either seventeen or two thousand dollars. And it's all the maintenance on the Spider for two, for three years. So I was encouraged by my. Good friend, good friend and brother Sam Smith to get that. So I did, and I'm glad I did. Well, like I said, I think I told you on the last video. The oil change at the dealership. Oil, parts and labor were $402. That's right, I said $402. So I'm glad I got the maintenance agreement. And the more I ride, the more it'll be worth this money. So, and what I've been told at the 30,000 mile service, it t cost around three grand to service it. Of course, that included the uh, Buds update, 
They always have to update your buds. That's a, the ECM that can -M uses. And I got the signature lights working. That's what took so long because they had to order that from BRP and then the system was cyber attacked with ransomware, I found out. I don't know if they paid it or not. I think they might have did a, a workaround on that. I don't know. But anyway. It's extremely high maintenance cost, but I will maintain it and get the shop to maintain it because that's what I paid the two grand for. All right, well, with that, with that maintenance agreement, I get uh, free batteries for life, so that's a good thing. So, another thing I don't like about the Spider, yes, it has three tires on it, so you're going to have to keep an eye on three tires. And they're not cheap. I haven't priced them yet, but uh, they're not cheap. But uh, those are the things that I've found that I, I don't like about it. But, I mean, I'm retiring and going to ride whenever I want to ride and don't have to worry about all that stuff. And that's just, a, you know, for me, that's just peace of mind because I was having issues before all this stuff with balance on the scoop. So I thought I would get rid of that problem before it became a major problem instead of a minor problem. So that's what I did. So for the first thousand miles, I think it's a great bike. I haven't had except for the uh, signature lights, which never worked since I took delivery on it last July 16th. I've had no issues with it. None. Of course, with just a thousand miles, you shouldn't. But uh, so far, so good. I'm hoping next weekend on the 17th, you know, I'm sure weather permitting, that will be going on the uh, Habitat for Humanity ride, trying to get all the Geritol group to, to come with me and stuff. And it'll be a nice ride through the countryside. And this, uh, it's a poker run with that, but they don't serve any liquor anywhere except at the last stop. So, you know. If you want to choose to drink, be my guest. I don't, but if you want to, have fun. As long as I'm gone before you get on your bike. <laughs> so I don't want a part of that. So I guess that's about it. Everything's right with the world. Now I got Miss Sally Ann back. So everything is good. Well, that's all I got for this video, so uh, there it is, my first thousand mile review. Okie dokie, we'll catch you guys and gals later. This is the Smyrna Cowboy here in Smyrna, Tennessee, wishing you and yours a good day. And until next time, adios. Thank you for your time and attention.